Well, good evening. It's Sunday, June 12th. You may notice those poodle legs are a little thinner over there. Somebody got a haircut today. Somebody was getting awfully hot running around and now you got little legs. Aren't you cute? <laughs> All right, so where was I? It is Sunday evening, June 12th. About 70 degrees out and it's about 10 of 6. Uh, getting around late to this because we were working in the yard all day mowing the lawn and such But I want to do an update because we got stuff going on Look at how tall the dolly is getting. It's almost up at the height of these uh, light elements Not quite what's going on here. This iris hasn't bloomed yet this miniature iris But otherwise the beds over here are doing good And we have tiger lilies and starting to get a little bit of something bothering them, but every year something does. What else do we have going on down here? We have the purple dragon, and we're starting to get some flowers on that. At least along the edge. And some of the ones in there, I can see a little flower head starting. And up in the back, we have some of the sweet william. And mixed in, there's some compobella. So we'll be watching this one. This bed will be waking up good. <clears throat> Over here we got big hosta. Stepping back so we can get it all in frame on both sides. Fountain's doing good on the setting. This hosta here is still no... Still no flower heads on it. We've been looking around checking, but this one, there's a bunch. A lot more than last time. We got some down here, over here, there, there, there in the back. And then this front arm here has a bunch on it too. So this one will be flowering pretty soon. More Campobello mixed in. And if I remember correctly, that's a later bloom. But you say, Teddy, you want to move on? Yeah. Is that going to be my thumbnail? Is your cutie pie? Okay. All right, let's move over to this garden quick. Yeah, so we got the lawn mowed today. Finished that up. Starting to look sharp. Did uh, Started to get serious about chopping back with the uh, weed whacking and stuff. Get things under control. So over here we have Hosta and we have Sweet William. Looking nice and thick, but no blooms over here yet. And over here we have the Laetra. Look at that. Look at how great that's spreading. Every place that was planted, it's been uh, splitting and growing up more stalks out of that. So that's doing good. And this is pretty much what we're going to do for a garden this year. Uh, we started late, so we're not going too big. But we have purple cabbage. We have peppers. Broccoli. We have some fancy lettuce over here and in this split here this isn't stuff we started from seed this was actually seeded itself from last year it was left over so we transplanted it if you can hear that that's miss noelle she has about over half an hour before it's dinner time but she she's hungry now so we started some potatoes back here some over there and over here these are um they look black. They're a, a purple variety, a purple majesty to be exact. So they're, they're a little bit more of a smaller potato. So we're doing some potatoes over there. We've got our veggies. We got our, um, uh, not the mums, the marigolds in there. Try to keep the bugs at bay. And that's going to be pretty much it for the vegetables. A nice big daisy patch here. We try to let the wild daisies grow out. Um, really good for the pollinators and their associated uh, little weeds and stuff. Over here, now that I weed whacked and cleaned up everything around the peach tree and on the garden beds, you can see the liatra over here. Peach tree still just has just this one of the three main branches. And there are some little peaches on there. So we'll see what goes on with that. Walking over to this garden and taking a peek. Yes, Miss Robin is in there. Miss Robin, can I zoom in? I don't want to bother you, but 
Do you want to make a little appearance? Yeah, little Miss Robin? There she is. Hi, sweetheart. Yeah, it's a darling. Yeah, we uh, peeked in the nest earlier. Where are you going? Crazy poodle. We peeked in her nest and uh, she's down to two eggs. We don't know what happened to the third egg. Okay, over here, bee bomb. Look at this. So here's our, uh, our water fountain dish. Look how tall that bee bomb is. Fantastic. Behind it, up against the window, you see that one lily that's taller than everything else. Uh, we still got to look look that one up, see what it is. But in there, I uh, may or may not be able to differentiate the uh, bee bomb or uh, the wisteria vine over there. It's starting to creep up and spread really good. We got a small laetra over here, and of course the other wisteria that's starting to grow in here. And wait for it, drum roll. Look at that. There's our peony. Look at that. On my screen, it looks like blotted out due to like ridiculous color, and it really is. It's that bright. And we got the second one next to it, and the ants are on there. They're working at it. So that one will be opening up probably later this week, too. And all the assorted other lilies in here there's day lilies, there's uh, heirloom lilies of all sorts in here. And we'll, we'll take a look once they start blooming because they're pretty bright. Moving on, over here we have a bunch of white clover, a bunch of red clover. Again, that's stuff we leave for the pollinators. This section here is uh, the one sunflower bed. There's not much going on in here yet. We'll see with the rain tonight if that finally wakes up. Um, this one's doing pretty good, though. Over here you can see what we got. We got a bunch all starting all down the line over here. So this one uh, started first, and it's furthest along. And then through the fence here, up in the back corner, you can see some starting there. And then I can see a couple may or may not show up on video along the uh, edge with the grass there. So getting there. This looks really big here, this ginormous shrub here. This is our beach plum. All the flowers are gone, but... This is the one where I did the video earlier this week where the Cercropia moth emerged. And she did that right over here. And uh, that was really neat. We got a... What? You're feeling nice and, and uh, quick. Yeah? See how it is when you get a haircut? And you're fast. You're like a swimmer. Um, so that was really great that we got a female this year. And she was able to find a mate. And uh, so we got to see both of them at the same time. That was that was very special. So if you get a chance, check out that video. All right, so the overgrown beds over here, um, it is quite messy. And we do, we do have to get in here because a lot's going on. We have a lot of iris action over here on the sides, over here, and then back here too. All grown out of the ferns. So we got that one opened up, but there's still... On the left there and on the right, three more. And then moving in, we have some Sweet William over here. And there's some more Sweet William open up over here too. You gonna focus? There you go. All right. So the Wisteria clump there, we still have to find a uh, frame for that. Back over here, more of the daisies, and yet more of the irises. Look at them. And yet more back here too. So purple, all up in here. And then also our mountain laurel is coming in. And this is a, if I remember correctly, it's a carousel variety. So it's really red on the outside, but when it opens, it'll be white on the inside with, I think, polka dots or some kind of dots. And if I'm not mistaken, I think this is actually wisteria vine over here. Look at that. It's actually wrapping around 
the mountain laurel, but I don't, that looks thicker than the weed vine that comes out from the woods. Cause I think the weed vine is this thinner here, but this wisteria is definitely thicker. So we'll see. So more of our, our pollinator islands here in the center. This clump over here with the mixed hosta. Again, we've finally cleaned up in front of the chicken coop. This over here, white iris. And we may be getting a second one on the left there, but you see on the right, we missed that one. That was earlier this week. It was majestic. Absolutely splendid. And these little pink, uh, these are a natural flower over here, but they're starting to close up for the evening. They're kind of like a miniature daisy almost. So more of the hosta. Still got to work on that. <clears throat> wow. There's actually still some uh, seed or flower bells on the Solomon seal. This is the other thing I worked on this weekend was I finally got these pallets cleaned up. They were rotting into the ground and stuff, but that's where I was trying to keep some um, branches to dry out for kindling. All right, moving on. We have this hydrangea shrub here, which the big difference this year that we're noticing is the main stalks have a lot of these secondary stalks on them grown away from that so the volume is really increasing quite a bit with that it'll be interesting to see if it put a lot of energy into uh, stalking out or if it still has a lot of energy for flowers because last year we got a real good showing hi daddy you playing with your donkers hi don't nip at Bangor <gasps> you did not do that that's not nice hey Hey, crazy boy. Wow. <laughs> I guess someone's feeling his haircut. So over here, look at the bee bomb. No, it's not as tall as Bangor, um, but it is much taller than the wellhead is. It's uh, all, almost all of it is taller than the hosta, which is good. Hey, behave yourself. Hey, hey. Wait till you get zapped by the electric fence. No flowers yet, no uh, buds yet on the bee bomb, but we're getting there. And then the back here we have some more sweet William. Over here and all mixed back up in here. And some of those um, fuzzy heads on them are starting to get darker. So those are getting ready to flower too. They'll probably start this week. It's more of the day lilies in opening. It's more of the purple dragon over here. And this stuff mixed in here, I also have that along the walkway. And that is called a Foamy Bells Futurella, possibly. Um, we found something that was similar, but a different variety. But So it's something close to that. All right, looking back over here, we got the Impatience in front with the Hosta centerpiece and more of the Purple Dragon. And this purple dragon, I'm going to come in slow so the camera focuses on it. But we certainly have a lot of these heads here getting ready. So this is going to be a lot of blossoms over here. And then the same thing back over there, more of the purple dragon. <laughs> Finish off with the hosta. I'm getting black flies inside my glasses. So a quick spin around here. All these lilies are nice and strong, but there's uh, not much poking up here yet for flowering. <clears throat> this dahlia is not quite as tall as the one in front, but it's certainly a lot farther along than it was last year. And we have one rose already. Dee looked it up, and uh, this rose that we have here is a Ragusa rose, this variety. This is the one that I mowed down when it was located over in the back of the property and before I realized what it was. Okay, we got some more excitement over here. So this is some more of these foamy bells, they call them. On this side and on that side. And this peony, the ants pretty much chewed away everything on the outside. So that one's gonna open up this week. And then let's do some clematis. Look at that, look at them all. Let's see that again. <clears throat> Look at how many are opening, starting to open. Oh, 
and how many more yet are gonna open. I'll update either the Instagram or I'll, maybe I'll do a quick update video this week when even more of these open because it looks like a bunch of them are going to come out really quick. But isn't that fantastic? I had some of the, one of these lilies was open earlier. You can see some of those faded back and but more ready to go. But thank you. All right, so moving along. Of course, all the May pinks are played out. We just have, uh, you know, the greenery left. But up here, the uh, bugleweed, right in front of that fairy house. You can see it. There's still some purple on it, but that's what that one is. And that little iris there, she really looks so stately. How about you? You look stately? All right, I'll finish up quick. So the nasturtium's doing good. We got some over here. We got some back over here. House is feeling good. Here's some more of those foamy bells. And that's the actual one that she saw the, uh, we saved a little plastic card when we bought it. So that's the actual foamy bells, uh, Futurella. So, but it's similar to this, so. At this point, close enough, at least we have an idea of what it is. It's more of the impatience, or uh, nasturtium, sorry. And it's more over here. So we're waiting for that to start flowering pretty soon. Somebody is waiting for dinner pretty soon. Hi, Bangor. Hi, handsome. Yes, I'm going to bring out your wasp predators tonight. We'll get those out. I know the bugs are getting bad. I was getting eaten up quite a bit today, too. The uh, deer flies have gone crazy. Pretty much every time I had two at a time on me. <clears throat> Kill them left and right. All right, finishing up. Uh, we'll finish up over here. So these hosta have gotten a lot bigger since last year. And some more daylily on there. And then... Look at the, the lion. We can't even see the lion's face anymore. The nasturtium's covering it up pretty good. <clears throat> and tucked in behind the nasturtium is a little bit more of the purple dragon. And then we have the vinca vine down here that's left over. And that's pretty much it. So I wanted to give a quick update because a lot of stuff is blossoming. Lots going on. So, um, And we'll do more. It's pretty cloudy. We're going to get some rain, thunderstorms, whatever, overnight. But at least it's a little cooler, despite the humidity. All right, Teddy, you ready to go in? Okay. Hope you guys have a great rest of your weekend, and we'll see you next time. Teddy. <laughs>